Well, you get a piece of paper? Oh, you got it? Okay. Wait, okay, wait, hold up. You came to divorce me. No way. Surely Mike's not serving Natalie on national television. Wow, that would be a very cruel and unusual way to do things, right? Well, the thing is, Natalie has refused to let go of Mike for so long. It's now very clear that she just wants him as her backup plan. But he's not playing ball anymore. Can I read? Debbie? Hey, Debbie? I know. What is that? Dear divorce papers. Well, that certainly puts pay to her crazy idea to have kids with Mike, doesn't it? Now, the last we saw Natalie, she was in the middle of a very difficult tell-all. You see, her relationship status with Josh was no clearer. She felt used, but things are about to get even more intense. Because after having to endure four tell-alls, yeah, this is now tell-all number five, now is the moment that we've all been waiting for. It's the moment they've been teasing us about all along. Natalie's ex-husband Mike is about to join them on stage. And Sean kicks off proceedings by asking him what he thinks about what's going on between Josh and Natalie. Sounds like there's a lot going on on both sides. Uh, a lot of indecisiveness. Sounds complicated. <laughs> Now, Mike gives a very diplomatic answer, but there is definitely a sense of glee about him. I think he's just super relieved that he is no longer with Natalie. And who can blame him? I mean, his life is probably so much more peaceful without her. And it's at this point that Sean plays the clips of Natalie's tragic offer to Mike the last time he saw her. If we talk, start talking and would we consider ever coming back and have a child together? I was just shocked. We're absolutely not together. Why, why am I going to donate my sperm knowing that I have a kid with her and we're not together? Like, uh, that's not what I want. I've always just wanted a family. Mike did a great job of standing his ground. He made it crystal clear to Natalie that it was not okay to just go running back to him as if he's some kind of backup plan. Her second option if things don't work out with Josh. But Natalie tries to defend herself by saying Mike is her connection between between the Ukraine and the USA. She can't sever that ever. Only this response just confuses Josh. He says that this just proves Natalie has no idea what she even wants. I think that she just needs to really figure out what she wants because I still don't even know what that is. I, I don't. She had Mike, she had what she wanted, she left him. I mean, he's not wrong, is he? Maybe Josh has more insight into Natalie than we originally thought. Because Natalie turns to Ty Ray and asks him, what do I want? As if she has no idea. And when Sean asks Natalie what it's like to see Mike and Josh in the same room together, she just begins to cry again. Having both her exes in the same room like this is just reminding her of her failures. Two relationship, boss. I cannot figure it. Like, it's okay. What can I say? Do you see any progress? No, I don't. No, Natalie, if I'm honest, I don't. There's no progress here. In fact, Josh actually kind of feels like a bit of a regression, to be honest. Like, sure, Mike wasn't perfect, but at least the guy loved you. You guys had the same goals and dreams, at least for a while. That is, until you decided to blow it all up to go and move to LA to become an actress. So yeah, now it's not fair of Natalie to be upset that Mike is moving on, just because she can't. And it does seem like Mike is moving on. When Sean asks him if he's been seeing anyone, he responds, uh, We've been seeing each other for a good year now, since last December. Uh -huh. uh, she's great. I absolutely love and adore her. She just cares about me and... Whilst I'm sure that's tough to hear, Natalie has no right to huff and puff 
about hearing about his new girlfriend. After all, she was the one that left him. Now, Mike's new lady has appeared on his Instagram quite a bit over the last year. While he originally kept her identity hidden, and whilst he still hasn't officially tagged her on his IG, he has begun to show her face. He's determined to protect her identity, and for good reason. Because there's a hell of a lot of people on his Instagram leaving comments who believe that for some reason Natalie is his soulmate. Yeah, I, I don't know what show they're watching, but yeah, everyone's entitled to an opinion, I guess. You and Natalie are still married. Have you started the divorce process? I, uh, yeah, I have. Now, when Sean asks Mike how far he's got in the process, he turns to Debbie and asks her whether she's got that piece of paper that he gave her earlier. Yeah, you heard that right. He gave the papers to the one woman on the show who needs walking assistance. The lady on the stage who's probably the slowest walker there for dramatic effect. Well, you got a piece of paper? Oh, you got it? Okay. Wait, okay, wait, hold up. You came to divorce me. <laughs> it's a terrible thing to do. Like, I can't get over the fact that Mike didn't just give it to a producer. Now, they all have to watch Debbie hobble agonizingly slowly back off stage. And when Sean asks, where the heck is Debbie going? Mike just says, oh, she's just off to grab something real quick. But that's not quite true, is it? And so we're all just left in limbo until Debbie comes back at a snail's pace to finally serve Natalie. Can I read? Debbie? Hey, Debbie? I know. What is that? Dear divorce papers. Yeah, sorry, Debbie, but you can't be part of these theatrics and then go to pat Natalie's arm and try to comfort her. It feels a little bit hypocritical. Either way, Mike seems to be absolutely fine with how things have played out. He admits that he had to give the papers to Debbie because he's not legally allowed to serve Natalie himself. But even with that being the case, I still feel that there must have been a better, more civilised way to have done this. Surely he didn't have to do it like this. <laughs> this kind of feels like revenge, doesn't it? What I'm gonna sign. You got 90 days to respond. You don't have, you don't to, have to sign, to sign unless, it right just now. Just 90 days. Unless you just want to end it. Just wait. Wait till you have time wait a to second. read it. Are you joking? Everyone's advice to Natalie is just to wait. Read the paperwork carefully before signing anything. But she just seems absolutely baffled by what's going on. Like, Mike has made such a big dramatic thing about serving her on the show, but he may have just forgotten that Natalie might not even understand what serving her even means. Why can affect me? We have nothing to... It's just the way things are done here. I just ask my snowboard and my... Stop. I just don't understand. Like, it has to be I have done to now. give it to someone to read. It's quite tough to watch Natalie try and understand what's happening to her. Natalie really hasn't had a good tell all at all. Nothing, absolutely nothing has gone in her favour. I'm certain that she must be feeling absolutely humiliated by this all. And now, on top of that, just to add extra worry into the mix, she's now uncertain about what this means for her mum status in the country. He brought my mom. Did you the fuck mom? No. <laughs> this no. was extremely cruel. It will not affect your mom in any way, Natalie. Is it a little cruel? Yes. But at the same time, it is long, long overdue. Now, did Mike need to do it this way? Did he need to serve her on global TV in front of millions? No. But do these two need to officially end things in a divorce? Well, yes, absolutely. Very much so. The truth is, Natalie has made it almost impossible for Mike to do this in any other way, because she's just been totally incapable of letting him go. She hasn't allowed him to move on properly with his life. Yeah, the last time Natalie refused to sign them, so this has been like a couple of year Who thing. Who cares? Look this, at her. This, She's not in any shape to this, sign this anything. Been, this has been coming for years. Like, it, it's not cruel on my part. 
Miss Debbie is fighting in Natalie's corner, but the general consensus on stage is that Mike's a good guy. This was just him being pushed to his limits. But Miss Debbie doesn't see it that way. And what ensues is a hilarious fight between Miss Debbie and Mama Debbie. The two Debbies go at it and they start to make this fight entirely about themselves. All the while, while Natalie is sitting there still trying to process what's even happening to her. And then she's got... Debbie, you know, Mama Debbie. That didn't look very damn motherly to me, honey. You're a bitch. Ooh. Now, Sean eventually manages to get things back on track. And she turns to Natalie and asks her what's going through her mind. I can't help but wonder whether she's feeling stressed about having to go home and tell her mum what Mike's just done. Don't forget, Natalie's mum is Mike's number one fan. But that isn't the answer that Natalie gives. In fact, her response is about as confusing as every other thing that she seems to do in her life. First of all, I told him I will not divorce him. He made his choice. He brought me papers. I don't know what to say. I don't want divorce. She doesn't want a divorce. Wait, hold on a minute. Wasn't she just crying about Josh not making her his girlfriend? It's as if Natalie wants the cake and wants to eat it too. She wants the best of both worlds. If she's so determined to be Josh's girlfriend, why does she still want to be married to Mike? Like, how is she supposed to move on and have the family that she craves with Josh if she's still married to Mike? Like, Josh is right. Natalie really doesn't know what she wants. She doesn't want to let go of the man she considers her safety net, Mike. But the thing is, Mike isn't hers anymore. Mike, does this have anything to do with your new relationship? Both, yes. It does? Yes. I can't, I can't move on and start a relationship with someone else. Uh, they're going to feel that way. You know yes. what I mean? You're Our still married. Mike's absolutely right. He says that his new girlfriend won't take him seriously until he's divorced, until he's officially ready to move on. And with Sean then asking the logical follow-up question, which is, is he considering proposing to his new girlfriend? Mike replies by saying, no, not yet, but they are moving in together. For now, he wants to take it slow, but things are serious. Now, for some inexplicable reason, Josh seems to think that now is the perfect opportunity for him to chime in and make things all about himself. All right. He can take his time, I can't take mine. He, she's moving in in a month and they've yeah, been dating for six months. Month, so. Like, we just started talking, like... Okay, so firstly, Josh, this isn't about you right now. You've had your time. But secondly, if you are going to go there, well, then you've been with Natalie for over two years at this point. She hasn't even seen the inside of your apartment, Josh. So you cannot compare your situation to Mike's situation. They are not the same. Now, Mike goes on to say that he does see marriage in the distant future, but Sean wants to know more. And having children with this yes. woman? <laughs> well, good for you, Mike. I'm happy for you. Is there some close of mine still at his home? Mike tells Natalie that all of her stuff is exactly where she left it. And it kind of sounds like she's used Mike's house as a dumping ground for her stuff for all these years. She should have taken it all with her by now. I mean, she's had the time. There's a lot of guys, I'm not saying it's right, but there's a lot of guys who would have chucked all of that stuff in the trash by now. But the thing is, it's clear that Natalie isn't handling this situation well. She needs a moment to get her crying under control. So Sean takes this opportunity to ask Debbie why she was a willing participant in serving Natalie. And I felt that it would be better for me because we're friends. And I know if I was getting served by somebody, it would be somebody to walk in, a stranger. It's, it's just... Mama Debbie's getting upset because she thinks Natalie's angry with her for serving the papers. But Natalie promises that she's not. And as everyone gives Natalie the moment that she needs, Mike makes a joke that now that that's all out of the way, Josh can now step up and be the man in Natalie's life. I think that things need to be fixed first. 
before we get into like a serious relationship. You never know, like there's no definitive answer of like what you actually want. Sorry, but I'm calling bull on that. Like, while there may be a tiny element of truth to it, Josh has this whole Natalie doesn't know what she wants excuse. And he's gonna run with that. Like, here's the thing, right? If you sat them all down before the show started, if you asked them what each of them wanted, I'm pretty certain that Natalie would have said, I want to be Josh's girlfriend officially. But Josh would have said something different. And when Tim asks Josh whether he even wants to be in a relationship with Natalie, he says this. I mean, I don't know, I'm open. And I think that we've been having a lot more fun and she's come a long way. Josh, just give a straight response. Is that a yes or is that a no? It feels like Josh has no idea what he wants either, but he's projecting that on Natalie. He's all too happy to make it seem like it's all her issue. But the truth is, this is just a never ending cycle between these two. And it just goes to prove how terrible they are together. Now, as the tell all wraps up, both Josh and Mike are dismissed off the stage, and Natalie shows how she really feels about each of them. You okay? It's okay. It'll be okay. Nope. Josh gets the frosty treatment, and Mike gets a kiss. But Natalie really just now needs to move on from both of them. She could probably do with some therapy. She should probably move out of LA. The best thing for her right now would be just to take some time for herself and figure out what her goals and her priorities are. Is it now time to find herself a career? Does she still want to be an actress? Or does she want to find someone, build a genuine connection, and get married and have kids? Because one thing's for sure, if she doesn't make a clean break, if she doesn't manage to get out of there quickly, Josh will do his very best to keep stringing her along. Just look at him backstage, trying to arrange a dinner with her tonight. Don't think about the negatives. This year's gonna be great for you, okay? What's next for me and Natalie is, uh, um, dinner. At this stage, two years into their relationship, it feels almost cruel. Stop stringing her along, Josh. With this now imminent divorce, just give her the opportunity to start afresh. To find a man that will actually want to have kids with her. Because we now know that's not Mike or Josh.